Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another video. And today, guys, they actually reset the packs on the Rookie Premier players. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you guys in the store right now. You know, the Rookie Premier tokens are what everyone wants right now at this point in Madden. And obviously, I want them. Like, I didn't have enough coins to do every single one. I have, I ranked them out of 10, which was good because I picked my first four or five that I did. And uh, to be honest, the last three or four, I'm not really a fan of, so I'm not too mad that I didn't have enough. But if you guys looked at the auction box, there's literally, like, no one on there. Like, now that the packs are back out, they will be. But, like, I went to go buy players yesterday to go finish some more rookie premieres. And, like, one card was, like, 700k. Like, that's not even enough. Like, it was kind of ridiculous. The block's dead, obviously. I'm so excited because... All that means is that Madden's coming out this week. It's pretty much why the auction's dead, but as you guys can see, they did reset these packs. So that's 20 total players, which means, I believe, 10 tokens. So that's pretty huge. That means that I'll be I'll be able to get one more player. And I'm pretty sure I know who I'll get. I'll show you guys after I get the packs, obviously. So I'm going to be opening up these packs. Also, guys, if you're new to this channel, if you're currently always on this channel, if you're just an OG that's just waiting for Madden 20, if you're watching this video, drop a like. Helps me out a lot. Also, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, guys. Madden 20 literally comes out for EA Access members, I believe, the 24th. It could be the 25th, but it looks like it might be the 24th if you looked at the uh, the official, like, the Wikipedia page for it, and you look at the store, you go towards it says Origin Access. So we're, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to correlate with EA Access. We can only hope because then I can start videos the 24th. But the 24th, I have a lot of things planned for you guys. A good amount of, I have some collabs planned, I have videos planned, I have a whole bunch of things planned for Madden 20, so if you're new, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and if you don't want to watch, it's fine, just drop a sub and come back for when Madden 20 comes out in approximately four days. Hopefully, we get Madden 20 rolling. Now guys, since we're warm, this video's going to be a pack opening, going to be opening up these packs, showing you guys who I would get left with these rookie premier players, and also just, I recommend you guys go and get yourself some of these packs, because if you still have coins, this is the cheapest way to get them. And quite honestly, you get a decent return back on these packs to the point where you could honestly keep opening after you sell the cards you get. If Madden wasn't at the end of the game, you literally make money on these packs. You get one of these guys and you could sell them for like 37k. It only costs you 25k to get them and then you can sell whatever else you get in the pack. But obviously that would make no sense to just get coins right now because the game's obviously over. But... I'm not entirely sure who I'm taking yet. I think I'm gonna go with the lineman. I'd have to look because based on what I know about football, I think he has the best chance to be useful for me next year. Also because from a Madden standpoint, I don't really want the running. I mean, I kind of want Josh Jacobs, but like I don't really want him only for the reason that I hate being tied to a running back, especially if you can't chem them up. Because obviously I don't want to count up RB next year. And then this year there was Quentin Nelson, who was obviously huge for most people. They got that team of the year Quentin. They got that um, Ghost of Future Path. Ghost of Future. Ghost of Future, I'm dumb. They got him. So he was obviously a very useful left guard the whole year. So I kind of want to go with the lineman. It's, it's tough. It's tough. To, I don't know. It's going to be tough to pick. Marquise. I like Marquise Brown. Hollywood Brown. But the issue with him is that it's a wide receiver for the Ravens with a very pa run heavy an inexperienced quarterback who doesn't really pass first at all so i don't know if i could trust he'll get a lot of upgrades will he get like a christmas 93 ghost of future probably but at that point like that might be his last really really big card you never really know so you know it's kind of tough to project oh, that was a great animation now guys if you don't already know make sure you guys get a access going for madden 20 because obviously the game comes out August 2nd, but if you have the Superstar or the Ultimate Superstar Edition, you get it, I believe, July, July 30th. And then with EA Access, you can start playing the 24th and possibly the 25th, depending, for, I believe, 10 hours. But there's obviously ways around that, which if you guys want to know the ways around that, you can obviously go just comment down below and I'll either make a video on it or I will just text it down to you guys below. Also... Whoever's watching, make sure to head on over to Twitter and drop a follow because obviously we're Madden 20 going going live in a few days. I will be heavy on Twitter and very heavy on making videos. So you guys can hit me up there, DM me directly if you need Madden help, you need help doing something, anything. 
It's the perfect place to text me. It's better than the comment section because I will answer my tweets every every time. Because it's just like a text. I just see it there with comments. Sometimes things get lost in the comment section. And when Madden 20 just starting, I'll be very busy. So if that's what you guys want to get any help, any questions like what quarterback should you buy, what pack should you open, that's the perfect place to do it. So if you're here still, go on over to Twitter, poodle underscore YT YouTube, or you can go into the comment section. It's probably there. Uh, the link might not work anymore, though, because I did change my handle. So if not, just type it in poodle underscore YT. So hopefully I get some follows after this. And I can start gearing up for Madden 20. You know, the, you know what sucks about these packs? They're kind of kind of dry only because you know what you're gonna get every time and like if you don't if you get something good on the side like a regular player like there's not much to do with it like no one's really buying cards at this point so i'm kind of just opening them mindlessly for my free rookie premier player and i shouldn't say free i should say my one Ooh, what do we get 89 barry i miss barry any anyone from the the origins of this channel knows knows barry sanders is my favorite running back in madden but hopefully next year there's a good saquon Get a nice base elite Saquon next year. Start the game. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a great idea. First week, and I'm probably trying to get a Saquon to Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to be going over a lot of pack openings, a lot of gameplays, a lot of player reviews. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff the first week. I should be able to give you guys a little bit of everything, first month at least. And then after that, kind of like branch into what I really like doing for the rest of the year. But the first month, I'm doing everything. So gameplays, players, packs, solo challenges. Everything that could help you guys at all tips coins Try to keep it try to keep myself very uh, open-minded is what I'm doing. I'm not trying to rely on one brand of thing on this channel All right, that should be enough. Let's go see what we got I'm gonna go trade these all in and then I'll talk to you. I'll show you guys which one I'm planning to use These are repeatable, right? Kind of suck if they weren't Oh. oh okay, okay, I was gonna say Oh, it's up there. Okay, I was, in, I was like, what? I can only do two more? All right, so we got all our tokens. Hopefully that's enough because I think I had a few already. No, I did not. Let's see, did I have all 10? I got nine. All right, I'll do that in a second, but let me talk about which ones I plan to do. So I'm left with DeAndre Baker, Darnell Savage, Chris Lindstrom, TJ Hawkinson, and Marquise Brown, and Josh Jacobs. So I guess I only had four done. Obviously, these are the most... In my opinion, these are the best four to do. This is, I don't think there's really much of a debate on which ones are the best four. Now, these are confusing, right? Because Josh Jacobs, obviously, is a running back for the Raiders. Very run-heavy team. Should get a lot of work, but running backs are always weird. You know, they can get hurt. They could have a timeshare, be in a committee right away. Might not get an upgrade for a while, but... And because if you can't count up running backs, they're kind of annoying to use at all this whole year. I kind of don't have freedom at running back. Marquise Brown again, I feel like he won't even get one single upgrade until possibly Christmas with the Ravens being very, very run heavy. Ravens wide receivers in years past have not been able to even be that useful as a single overall wide receiver just because they don't pass enough so the stats are always watered down a little bit. TJ Hawkinson, tight ends the first year and, and in general never really do much and being on the Detroit Lions, hmm, they did lose Golden Tate, but I can't really bank on that. I feel like Chris Lindstrom might be my best bet. Which one is the highest overall to start? Okay, it's not Chris Lindstrom. There's Darnell Savage with a free safety in the package. I don't really know much about him. But, oh, free safety. I kind of like freedom there, too. I like taking my safeties. And then DeAndre Baker on the Giants. Typically, when a defense is bad, a cornerback has trouble standing out just because a lot of things aren't going to be covered. It's hard, hard to lock up your guy and worry about other things at the same time. So, I don't know. I think he might need time to develop anyways. I don't even know if he's, he's probably playing... Week one, but I don't trust the Giants. It's tough. All right, guys, so I went with Chris Lindstrom. About it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this pans out well over the other guys that I chose not to do. So, guys, that's it. If you're new, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Man 20 should be up in about four days. Hopefully you guys are all back for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.